What's up? I'm Coach Dan Blewett. In today's video, let's talk about the knuckle curve. So knuckle curves sometimes are exalted as this like special pitch, right? Ooh, I throw a knuckle curve, not a regular curve, a knuckle curve. So in today's video, we'll talk about some knuckle curve grips. We'll talk about the spin, the theory, and everything you pretty much need to know about throwing this pitch and why it's actually, uh, spoiler alert, not really different. Okay, so first thing, let's talk about curveballs. So when you throw a curveball, the goal is to impart forward spin, right? Basically as if we drilled a hole through the ball. So you want it to spin as cleanly, quote unquote, in the direction that it's traveling, you know, with some slight angle if you're to throw a 1-7 versus a 12-6. That's essentially what makes a curveball a curveball. The spin is what makes a curveball a curveball. Slider spin is very different, cutter spin is very different, and a curveball spin, again, is forward spin, top spin, in the direction the, the pitch is traveling, either at a 12-6 or at a 1-7 orientation. We don't want side spin, so we don't want you to get around the ball and mix in side spin. You can see one of my former teammates uh, signed this ball. He was a Taiwanese pitcher. So we that's what we we're looking for when we're talking about curveball. So basically the first point here um, in this in this in this video is that Curves are defined by their spin. They're not really defined by the grip, they're defined by their spin. So you can grip the ball a lot of different ways, still throw an amazing curve ball, uh, but really, well, again, what matters is how the ball spins. So, you know, whether you throw it a knuckle curve or some other finger placement, it doesn't really make a difference. So let's talk about how you can hold the ball and what's, what, and I'm not gonna go into every grip because I wanna stick to knuckle curve here, but essentially this, this index finger, is your placeholder finger because we want this finger, your middle finger, to impart the most force in spinning the ball forward when we're coming over top of it. Now, of course, if you look at high-speed video, you are not gonna release the pitch exactly like this. You maybe mentally think that, I encourage you to, but really you're gonna get around the pitch as it's releasing from your fingers and then you're gonna kinda write it on the way back. But again, this middle finger is the one that's gonna actually spin the ball. So that being said, if we're pushing in the center of the ball with our index finger, this is gonna cause a really negative effect on how the ball spins. We don't wanna be putting spin into the center, we wanna be putting on the edge. That's how we're gonna get faster RPMs because the other factors that determine whether a curveball is good or not is not just the axis and how, again, if we drilled a hole through it, that's a cleaner spin than if we have side spin mixed in, but also how fast the ball spins, how many RPMs, right? You probably heard that on, you know, uh, major league games, they talk about how many RPMs, a pitcher like Justin Verlander, anyone else throws a curveball has. The more RPMs, essentially the sharper that curveball is gonna break. So, that being said, this index finger is a placeholder. It's a placeholder for this ball. So I don't have to, I can put it here, I can like let it lay, lay I can stick it up, I can put it down. And again, this is, let's get into grips here. This is the knuckle curve grip. It's essentially, I'm either, there's two ways to do it, I'm either putting my fingernail down like that, or I'm laying my whole knuckle down like that. Either one is okay. And again, it's not different than sticking your finger up. It's not different than just gently laying it on the ball where it's not putting pressure. It's not different than crossing it over like that. The knuckle curve grip is essentially, and this is really my, my big point here, the knuckle curve is just, it's a placeholder. It's a different curve ball where your index finger is a different placeholder it's not really a spin contributor. And let's quickly talk about why that is the case. Because as I'm releasing the ball forward, again, my hand's gotta come around the ball to spin it. How is this finger being up like this? How is that gonna contribute this direction spin? We want the ball facing this way. Look at my knuckle. It can flick. I actually had a teammate tell me that his knuckle curve was good because he flicked it, which literally made no sense. Lots of athletes don't know exactly why they're good or what they do, how they do what they do. Um, but to impart extra spin, the knuckle would have to push this way in the direction that my hand is going, that my wrist is going. It obviously is not gonna have any effect like that. Like what does this motion do to contributing spin to a curveball? It does literally zero. So the big takeaway here is that for the knuckle curve, it's really the same as any other pitch. At the end of the day, um, oops, wrong side there. At the end of the day, the knuckle curve is just a different placeholder for your grip, and it's gonna impart the same curveball spin as any other grip of curveball. So Adam Wainwright, you know, he was uh, famous. You could see his 
uh, in index finger sticking straight up. That's how he threw his. His curveball was nasty, right? The fact that he stuck his knuckle down wouldn't have made it any better, and it wouldn't have made it any different. The fact that someone throws a knuckle curveball or a, st a finger stuck up uh, curveball or any other version of their curveball grip, it doesn't make a difference. What makes a difference is how the ball comes out, the output. So I think this is a common misconception. I hope this cur the, this curveball video helped you. I mean, again, the big thing here is it's personal preference. So if you like throwing a knuckle curve, that's wonderful. Um, if you like sticking your middle finger up or your index finger up, that's fine. Yeah, don't give people a finger. Um, if you like sticking your index finger up, that's fine too. The big thing is finding the grip that works for you. If the knuckle curve grip works and you say, man, I throw a nasty knuckle curve, that's fine. But we also don't say, man, I throw an awesome, I throw an awesome uh, finger up curve. Like no one ever says that. So I'm not really sure why the knuckle curve has gotten its, its own almost special category. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. But again, the output is what matters. Can you spin the ball fast? Can you create clean spin? And the curveball spin is what makes a curveball a curveball. So whether you throw a knuckle curve or any other version, doesn't really matter as long as you execute the pitch well, practice it a lot, and increase the quality of it, of it, of it over time. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Coach Dan Blewett. Be sure to check out the links in the description below if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, check out my books and research, my resources, online courses, all that stuff. And I'll see you here in the next video.